Hi everyone, in this video I will explain the isometric projection of a rectangular pyramid of base 40mm by 25mm and height 50mm resting on a cylindrical slab of diameter 100mm and thickness 30mm. Let us start with the construction of the base. Take the normal line and base is of 100mm diameter. So draw a 100mm long line at an angle of 30 degree then again 100 mm at 150 degree and again 100 mm at an angle of 210 or minus 150 degree use the tab key to switch between the input fields now select the end of the line so you got uh, isometric view of a 100 mm square base now within this square base you should enclose an ellipse draw two diagonals connect to the center of this side from here connect to the center of this side then use the arc by center point select the center of the arc as intersection here then select this point and draw an arc till you get the midpoint and again from the intersection arc radius is equal to this but you should approach from down you should not approach from the top approach from the down select till it meets the center point again to with this point as center uh, arc radius is equal to this In this time you approach from the top get this point draw up to the midpoint or end of this arc and again this point as center uh, this time you come from bottom side from the midpoint till it meets the center or midpoint of this line now you got the 100 mm uh, ellipse now you can move a copy of this it is a cylindrical slab of 30 mm thickness so you should move it by a 30 uh, distance so step distance should be 30 and you can move with this point as a reference or center point as a reference so you should move by 30 mm so you can use the move command now so select the step distance by pressing the tab key you can change the focus to uh, step distance input field uh, type the step distance as 30 press enter key now select the reference point you just move a copy of that so I got a copy of that right click and terminate the command right click terminate the command now you can draw tangent to this so you can select this point from here you have to draw a line again you need to draw a tangent here that is a midpoint of the arc to the end or a midpoint of this arc now you got the uh, base part of the combination of solid now we have to construct another uh, rectangular pyramid on top of that so let us move this aside and uh, construct a rectangular base to construct the rectangular base again take line tool the base is 40 by 25 so let us start with the 40 mm side 40 at an angle of 30 degree then you have to mm, draw 25 mm at an angle of 150 degree then again 40 at an angle of 210 degree or minus 150 degree press enter then close this now 
you have to get the center of this you draw a diagonal uh, draw a line from the center at a height of 50 mm height is 50 mm so press enter key then when you get the vertical symbol you can stop and click now you can draw the slant edges from here you can draw the slant this slant edge also you can connect and kill so this gives a square pyramid but visible edges will uh, mark it later now you have to select this make it a rigid unit then use the connect command to connect the base center to the center of the top face we can also connect uh, use the connect command to connect this point this okay so now you have to darken the visible edges so if you take in the arc this part of the arc is not visible bottom base so you have to select this arc and split at this point so use the split command to select that arc and split at the end of this line again this arc split at the end of this line no this part of the arc is not visible top face so select this arc split here at the intersection again select this part of the arc split at the intersection now you can select all the visible edges so all the visible lines you can select this tangent line again this tangent line all these lines service this land edge is visible now you can use the visible line for all the selected lines so hold down the control key and select it and now this is a final view so all visible edges i have shown by dark lines and hidden lines i left like that now this you have to scale down this is only isometric view you have to scale down this by a factor 0.816 scale down so now you have completed the isometric projection so that's all for today thank you for watching